I'd like to call to order our May 6, 2024 board meeting. I apologize, we're running a few minutes behind, so thank you for your patience. It looks like we have a lot of exceptional students waiting to be recognized. I'm excited about that. I am going to turn it over to Trustee Kimberly Snipes for the invocation and Pledge of Allegiance. Let us pray. Loving and gracious God, you are indeed the giver of all good gifts, and we thank you today for all your blessings. For the successful outcomes of our school programs and all of our staff members, both teaching and support. Father, we come to you today asking for your guidance, wisdom, and support as we begin this meeting. Help us to engage in meaningful discussion. Allow us to work as a group and nurture the bonds of community. Give us strength so that we can build places of belonging, environments that considers the need of all students, faculty, and staff, even when they differ from us. May we balance mercy and justice so that we can achieve equity and access for all your children. In your precious name we pray, amen. Thank you, Ms. Snipes. And that will lead us into our school board spotlight. I'll turn it over to Dr. Ross and Ms. Taylor. Thank you, Madam Chair, members of the board. Dr. Ross, good evening. I'm so glad to be with you tonight. We have so very much to celebrate here in School District 5. We're going to do all of our celebrations in person tonight, so would you all like to go ahead and, and join me out front? First of all, the Chapin High School girls lacrosse team has won the Class 5A state championship. They defeated Fort Mill 13-4 to finish an undefeated season and clinch the win. It was the second cha championship for the Lady Eagles, who also beat Fort Mill in 2019 to claim that title. In addition to the team win, there have been some individual honors. Senior, senior Ava Claire Collins has been named South Carolina Player of the Year, and Coach Raven Thomas has been named the Region 4 5A Coach of the Year for a second year in a row. So ladies, congratulations. And I see Principal Davis here too. Come on up, Mr. Davis. Second tonight, our Skills USA chapter here at the center has had yet another successful year. So I'm happy to invite the sponsor, Mr. Joseph Chapman, to tell you more about their accomplishments this year. Thank you. Skills USA is the number one workforce development organization for students. 
We empower students to become skilled professionals, career-ready leaders, and responsible community members. Our Skills USA chapter here at the Center for Advanced Technical Studies has been one of the top in the state and nationally for years. Our students put in numerous hours of community service, personal and professional development, gain certifications, earn scholarships, and compete at the highest levels. This is thanks to the many people who have invested their time in our future workforce. We have an incredible staff here at the center comprised of some of the top industry experienced teachers I've ever met working alongside the top industry, or working alongside wonderfully supportive administrators. Our community, business, and industry partners have continually provided resources to our programs and our chapter. And our students have devoted countless hours to become better versions of themselves, more prepared for their careers ahead. At our state conference this year in March, our chapter had over 70 students placed top three to include 35 students earning gold medals across 19 competitions. Of these 33 students, we'll head to Atlanta at the end of June to compete for, at the national conference for national titles that while they're there, they will see over 4.3 million square foot of space taken up by these competitions and industry. They'll see over 200 industry partners scattered across the complex, and they'll be joined by over 16,000 attendees from across the U.S. I would now, now like to introduce your Skills USA state champions that are present with us today, along with the state officers that we had elected for the 24-25 year. For community service, Alexia Bothers. For criminal justice, Ashlyn Davin. For cybersecurity, the team of Alex Esparza and Bryce McKeever. Extemporaneous speaking, Tyson McCrary. Internet of Things smart home, Katie Brophy. Internet working, Brayden Blackman. Occupational health and safety single, Zymeria Taylor. Opening and closing ceremonies, Joshua Barra, Ireland Hartman, and Avery Smith. Photography, Amelia Price. Related technical math, Ryan Riddle. Teamworks, Eva Carroll. Trial advocacy, Zoe Jackson and Zymeria Taylor. And then our state officers, Avery Smith, he's walking right there in the middle, and Ariana Shepard. The students who are not present here today that are state champions, Jordan Allen, Chloe Collins, Mikhail Wicker, Seth Wise, Anthony Cook, Hannah Brown, Trilby Whitley, Lucas Pearson, Talia McQuiller, Tristan Struther, Caroline Studley, Caleb Anderson, Bria Cardinal, Kinston Foster, Shay Mosley, Chloe Rayner, Carter Whalen, Clinton Bohannon, Eason Donaldson, Palmer Lauder, and Porter Floyd. Uh, board, we'd also like to thank you for your support of, this, of our Skills USA chapter in the center and CTE. It makes a huge difference in these kids' lives having your support. So thank you for all that you've done for us. And last, but most certainly not least tonight, an important milestone for every student is the annual science fair. School District 5 had another successful year of award-winning projects, and so I would like to invite the district's coordinator of science and health, Nikki Powell, to come and introduce you to this year's winners.
Thank you, Chairman Hines, Distinguished Board, and Dr. Ross. Tonight, we recognize students who have excelled in science fair competitions at both the district and or region levels during the 2023-2024 school year. It is my absolute pleasure to be here to celebrate this group of students, parents, teachers, administrators, family, and friends. Thank you for being here and for your continued support of this outstanding program. The success of these students would not be possible without each of you. While it is certainly impressive to note the vast number of awards received by our students at both the district and USC regional fair, or even the titles of projects, many of which defy pronunciation, I wanted to share with you tonight before recognizing specific awards, the impact exploration in the world of science can have on a student's life. Before hosting the district science fairs in February, I was, give, I was invited to an elementary school to judge their science fair. In this school in particular, every fifth grade student worked in teams with the support of their classroom teacher, the school's resident scientist, and mentors from the community to complete a science fair project. As I went from project to project, I immediately realized that while the names and experiments differed, the opportunity each student received by participating in the science fair was the same. They had the opportunity to collaborate with their peers, to problem solve, experiment, and discover the world around them, or produce a product to solve a real world problem. And what was most rewarding to me is that they were all eager and excited to share their projects with the judges. They all used scientific knowledge to describe their process, and they all shared joy in not only learning about science, but truly exploring and experimenting with science in a rigorous way. This was further evidenced to me at the district science fairs, from real life robots and identification of the best flashlights to discovering safe gluten-free cookies for friends and engineering bulletproof windows and doors to keep people safe. Students shined and displayed the impact science can have and the importance of continuing to question and discover the natural world around us while creating products that will positively impact society in the future. From fifth grade to 12th grade, from schools district-wide, students in District 5, with the assistance of their incredible teachers and supportive parents, and all of you before us today, put their scientific know-how on display and have shown to us how bright their future will be. At this time, I will proudly announce our elementary award winners. I would ask that you all please hold your applause until all students have been recognized. Students, please come forward as your name is called. Just to note, we do have a few who are not in attendance tonight, but I do think it's important that we recognize all of them and their accomplishments. First is Brecken Barber, Harbison West Elementary School, first place in Math and Engineering, District Science Fair. Samantha James, Chapin Intermediate School, Honorable Mention, Earth and Environmental Science, District Science Fair. Paige Brunson, Karis Purs, and Amalia Tuggy. Dutch Fork Elementary School, first place, Earth and Environmental Science, District Science Fair in 